Coming to you from Lake Arrowhead Village up in the San Bernardino Mountains. We are visiting the lakefront tap room and kitchen, trying some new local beers. We have a coconut porter. Not really a local beer, actually. I'm really sorry. I apologize. It's actually from the Maui Brewing Company in Hawaii. And we have a Cali Dreaming. It's like a dream sickle, along with some tater tots with beer, cheese, and delicious barbecue sauce. It has a very Guinness, uh, coconut Guinness taste, kind of cross between the two. And yours? Mine is more of a, definitely taste the orange and the cream. It's good. Now we're gonna try the tater tots with the beer cheese. I prefer the barbecue sauce. Tangy, little bit of a kick to it. Mm. It's got that, that beer cheese, uh, the pretzel taste, when you dip your beer, uh, the pretzels in your beer uh, cheese, it's the same one. I'm going to show you the view that we have. Down there, you can get a boat tour, takes you around the lake, shows you all the houses. Apparently there are some high profile movie stars that live up in Lake Arrowhead, and they can show you where their houses are. Uh, you can also rent some uh, paddle boats. You can do wakeboarding. You can do uh, water skiing. You can do rafting. And you can shop to you drop. There's a few shops here that are open right now during COVID. Uh, masks are required when you are walking around outside of the restaurants. But I'm highly recommended, Lake Arrowhead and the untapped lakefront kitchen and untapped room. Cheers. Cheers. We decided to add something new to the menu. We added some pretzel and brat bites, sauteed in some onions covered with the beer uh, cheese. Let's give it a try. Oh, mm. that's really good. I gave it a thumbs up. Let's try it. city is this? Leesburg, Leesburg Virginia. Virginia and we are storming outside got a little bit of rain we're at a table right here we were just told by employees that we have to we can't sit here because it's um, public uh, social distancing can't go outside too many people well we can take our beverages to our car and we can drink our beer in our vehicles it's illegal everywhere else. I don't think that's else, right. Hey y'all, this is Matt, TJS2. I'm here at McDowell's. It's a bar slash tiki bar in a restaurant. That's here in Leesburg, Virginia, outside of Washington, D.C. I'm here with my two friends, uh, Bob and Joe. Uh, so we just got some drinks. I've got myself a pineapple cider. It's uh, very tasty. And I also got a freckle. This is a breaded type of uh, The quesadilla is what so we just also ordered a uh, quesadilla that just got, it arrived right then. And the frickle has a boom boom sauce with it. Uh, as any fried food comes out very hot, so I'm going to take my first bite of it and see what it tastes like. Mm. 
that boom boom sauce is on point. I'm telling you, it's good. It's got some spice, it's got some kick, it's got some herbs, it's got some flavor to the pickle. I love fried pickles. This might be my new favorite. I'm trying to think what it tastes like and uh, the, maybe have like a Tabasco sauce or whatnot. Hey, this is Matt, TGS2. I am here at Catoctin Creek Distillery here in Purcellville, Virginia. I am here with two of my great friends. Uh, this distillery, we just did a little tour of the place. Um, my buddy Joe is filming right now. He's already done his little tasting of the 82, the 92, and the 116 proof. Um, here at this facility, if you want to look at the menu, it's right here. It's on the QR code. <laughs> Cheers to bottoms being up. Good for the 92? No. <laughs> no, I am. It's just, it's not the delicious Jameson taste I'm used to. That I love. It's a whiskey, right? Yeah, but Jameson. Well, it's American whiskey, as they say. But Jameson is Irish whiskey. But if you don't like it, no, 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 it's, it's, it's not that I don't like it, it's just, it's a Jameson that I can drink without a chaser because it kind of has a sweet taste to it. So that was 82. This is 92. Yeah, Jameson's a lot like, uh, you'll say completely no until it comes out. It's like a Jägermeister. It's a flavored whiskey. This I have a feeling it's just pure whiskey. Well, that was pure whiskey. She said that they diluted on like their different sizes. And the 80, this is the 80, right? No, 82. 82, that's their flagship. It's 92. It's 92. I don't know what that is. That comes off the bottom of the barrel. So then this is probably like their premiere. This is their Jack Daniels. Jameson. Yeah, it's so burning. It's still burning. Wow, that wasn't even a sip. <laughs> First one was good. It's just that it's got a stronger taste as it goes on. That's what she said. The rye will really get to you by the end. That's what she said. Oh. It'll pop out in a minute. <laughs> This, this was 121? 116. 116. So they oh, said memory, they said the highest you can do um, alcohol content in Virginia is 151. Like Bacardi 151? Oh, is it? Although she didn't say Bacardi, no, but, yes. but, uh, but yeah, so they decided they'll do 121. So I guess this is their purest. It's also their most potent. 116. I don't know if they go higher than that. This is the one where it's like if you even get near it with a lighter. It's just, that one really burns. Where's the light? <laughs> uh. That's it. Is it lighter than before? It's strong, isn't it? <laughs> so, the other two, it just tastes like you know, just a liquor. This one, actually, you can tell you're like, this is not going to I see the levels that go like this. <laughs> Ugh. They're good. I'll let you know how good they feel in a few minutes. Check that out with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gonna, it's my turn to take a taste of these. Um, so this is going to be the 82 proof whiskey. These are all whiskey, rye whiskeys here in Virginia, locally made. And uh, 82 it smells good. Um, kind of smells like an Evan Williams. It's dry. It's it's drier than an Evan Williams, uh, barely. But if you've had Evan Williams, it's um, okay. I'm getting a different aftertaste. It's not a pleasant aftertaste. I don't like that. No. Um, it feels like I could probably put a lighter to my and get a little bit of a flame. That was the 82. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take a little drink here. Now, I'm told it only gets worse as you go, so this may not be for me. We shall see. This is a 92 proof whiskey, rye whiskey. And uh, I guess I need to figure out the difference between the rye whiskey and Jack Daniels and uh, Woodford Reserves and the others, so let's go with this 92. 
the smell, the smell is stronger. All right, let's, the only way to find out is to do it. I still have. Oh, is this 102? 162. Exactly. It's gas. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I like whiskey a lot. I like to drink whiskey a lot. I'm not a fan. Okay. Let's just, uh, so this right here was half an ounce? This is this is just one half ounce. You'll see here it bubbles down. I don't know if you can see that. So all this is not filled. It's just one half ounce. We did find something interesting when we came here. They can only serve how much per day? Two ounces per person. Two ounces per person per day. So I'm not allowed to come back in here to get more. Um, this is a distillery. This is not a brewery. Excuse me. This is not a uh, a bar. All right. So this is a distillery. Um, so let me try this one out real quick. Uh, that's one. That one's my favorite. Really? Yeah, that's my favorite. A little bit more smooth. It didn't hurt going down. It doesn't feel like I just. It's still in my tongue. It's not. It's uh. That's my favorite. Wow. Yeah, I like the stronger. Alright, so uh, as I was drinking that, there was some activity going on outside, so if my eyeballs were uh, showing you something different, we're in Virginia. Anyway. Alright, well, thanks again. Please follow us here. Hit the subscribe button. We hope to see you again at another brewery here while we're in uh, Virginia, in the uh, northeastern area of Virginia, close to Washington, D.C. Alright, bye.